hey guys welcome back to another diy tutorial so this is the sewing tutorial for this dress this is the part two of this uh tutorial okay if you haven't seen the pattern drafting tutorial please click on the link on the description box go and get your pattern ready and then you come back here for the sewing tutorial okay so we are going to start now so on the table i have my fabric that i'm going to use so this is a Dutchess material, okay? This is Dutchess, thick Dutchess material, okay? And it's not stretchy. It's really thick, okay? And uh, it has a double face, okay? I got this material two years ago, I mean three years ago. So yeah, it has been with me for a long time. And I think I have found the right style for it, okay? And this is two yard, okay? so this is the chiffon material that i'm going to use for the inner uh pleats so i wish i'll have it as a maybe crepe or something or a little bit thicker than this but anyway it still doesn't matter so you can just use any fabric of your choice and it's going to give you exactly what you want okay so this is chiffon fabric okay and uh, here is the lining i'm going to use and uh, this is a uh, brighter satin Dull face brighter satin, okay. They call it dull face brighter satin. So this is what I'm going to use as my lining. All right. Okay. So here I have my pattern paper. That is the uh, skirt part, okay. I have the back pattern and the front part. And also remember when I was drafting, I said there was no space for me to add my sewing allowance from the back pattern, okay. So and also I did not add. Uh, a folding allowance on the hemming line so don't forget to do that so right now we are going to start by cutting i'm going to show you how i cut different okay so that you not go and mess it up okay make sure you spread your pattern this way okay and remember i added uh allowance i added more inches to the lower part that is why you see that extension there okay so you're going to open your fa your pattern this way and place it on your fabric like this your fabric doesn't have to be on fold okay it doesn't have to be on fold so you just open your fabric wide like this and place your pattern on it just the way you see it on the table okay and then you're going to cut it so this is how i'm cutting mine now, okay so and once you are done cutting don't forget to transfer the dart okay don't forget to transfer your dart to your fabric so that when you are going to stitch on it, it's going to be easier for you to uh, stitch on your dart, okay? So once I'm done now, I'm going to use my main piece now to place on my lining and cut them equally, okay? So I have gone ahead to cut this off camera. So this is all my pieces that is ready to start uh, joining together, okay? So that is my back pattern my front and the skirt and the back skirt everything is here and also my lining as well okay so i have gone ahead to pin my line all my pieces together okay not all i pin some so i will show you what i did to the front okay i have gone ahead to pin both the skirt the front and the back skirt i have pinned every pieces together I pin my lining uh sorry yeah i pin my uh, uh lining and also my dad so this is the part where the zip is going to be okay from the back this is back pattern okay so this is the upper bodies the back pattern and um uh, my zip allowance all those things you know so yeah right now i'm going to show you what i did so this is the front pattern okay this is my main piece okay the main fabric so this is the front pattern so what you're going to do you're going to get the the other side the, one of the pieces okay this is how it came out okay this is the back the wrong side so right now the right side is facing up okay so you're going to get the right side uh right side facing the right side so you're going to place it like that and the way you're going to start uh joining is going to you're going to start it from the um lower part then to the upper part okay so whatever excess that remain from up there you're going to trim it up so this is how it's going to look like so this is what i did okay let me zoom it so you can see this is what i did 
So we're going to go to the sewing machine to join them like that. So I have gone ahead to join all my pieces. Okay, so this is all my pieces and also I iron my seam allowance. So please remember to iron all your seam allowance whenever you're done joining them, okay? So that aside, so like right now we're going to start working on the back pattern or the skirt part, okay? The skirt part, so we're going to work on the skirt. So first of all, this is the back pattern of my skirt, okay? So um, I'm going to start joining the lining to my main fabric okay so this is my lining that i'm holding okay i pinned this down while i was ironing and so i would know what i was doing so right now i'm going to get my uh, lining and place it on top of my main fabric the right side facing the right side up okay and i'm going to start uh pin from the the zip allowance part okay not the side okay the zip allowance side so uh the right side facing the right side so i'm going to stitch on this part like this and also the same thing now so i'm going to stitch together with the lower part okay so i have gone ahead to stitch it so this is how it is i have also gone ahead to uh, iron it very well so let me zoom in so that you can understand exactly what i'm talking about okay so i iron it and uh, i stitch first of all i stitch both the lower part that is the hemming part okay i stitch everything and also the the zip allowance side i stitch them but the side as you can see the side is still open okay the side is still open um from the waist side is still open so here is still open okay so the same thing i did to the other side I stitch all this part and here is still open okay because we are going to join this one separately i will show you what i will do okay don't worry so the same thing i did to the front the front pattern the front is only the lower part okay as you can see the both side is still open it's only the lower part that i stitch and then i press all my side my seam allowance okay so yeah so right now we are going to work on the upper bodies okay so i'm going to place the right side facing the right side the upper body so that we can start joining them together okay so this is my front pattern on the table so facing up so the other one is the back pattern okay so so i'm placing the right side facing the right side up so we we'll go and stitch it on the side like you see me doing okay i'm going to go and stitch them up and then i will be back so this is the main fabric okay the other one was the lining and the same thing i'm going to do whatever thing i do to the main fabric i'm going to do to the lining okay so i have gone ahead to join my my lining together the front and the back pattern together i have joined them now it's time for us now to join the lining and the main piece together so we are going to couple this together so that we can move on to the lower part okay so right now as i place my lining to the main fabric together i'll go to my sewing machine we are going to join this together okay we are going to go to the sewing machine to join them but this part is going to left open you're not going to join that part okay so that part is going to left open so that we use it to turn our fabric to the right side so we're going to join all this way round okay so let's get into it so I'm going to start by joining this piece together with 0.5 inch allowance. Remember those allowance that we kept while we were cutting or drafting? So I'm uh, joining this piece together now with 0.5 inch allowance, okay? I hope you understand. I hope you, you are getting me clear. I hope you can understand or see what I'm doing clearly. Okay, so if you do and if you're enjoying this video so far, Let's give this video a thumbs up and I hope you will get the chance to recreate yours, okay? Not just watch, just watch and recreate because I haven't seen most of you sending me a video of what you have recreated for my tutorial. I'm still wondering, is it that you guys are just watching and not recreating it? To be honest, I would love to see your, your finished work. I would love to see what you, how it turned out. If you follow the tutorial, I want to see how it actually came out, you know? yeah 
so once i'm done uh join this together so this is how it's looking like okay so this is how it's looking like i'm going to go to my ironing table now so we can iron it so when i uh since i haven't done the tutorial before this is my first time recreating this dress so i was just so curious to see how this part is going to turn out and i realized that this part actually come out too pointy okay so we are going to do adjustment here okay so as you can see i just got my french cuff now so i'm going to just reduce this part first i need to find the midpoint first so that i can be able to get all the cuff equally so that is what i'm just doing here so i'm going to place my french cuff like so and then i'm going to connect it like that okay so i was just trying to get an accurate curve so that everything will just be equal so let me zoom in so that you can see so this is how it's looking like now okay so i'm going to go back to my sewing machine to join this part like you see so i have done join it so what i'm going to do i'm going to use a hemming gum okay i'm going to use hemming gum to hold that part inside there so that it can stay because uh i just realized that the material was not that hard enough so i, I felt like it's going to start folding up maybe when i i put on the dress so i'm going to use my hemming gum to hold it at that particular part okay so that i will make it look a, a little bit firm so now we are going to talk about the lining so how many yards or how many uh, yes how do you intend to achieve to get your pleats so what you're going to do okay you are going to first of all you're going to cut the length the length is going to be the same length with your back pattern okay so that is the same length you're going to get and uh, you're going to divide uh, multiply your runway circumference by two so if you want it to be very fuller multiply your runway circumference by two uh yeah that is what you need to do that's the measurement you need to know how to calculate or how to get to know how many yard you need to get from your inner skirt okay so i have here 16.5 inches so that is the length of this uh, uh inner one that i'm going to use 16.5 that is the length i'm going to cut out okay so and uh, what i have here let's see so remember you're going to fold in the edges okay the lower part you need to fold in because this one we didn't use lining to turn it so you need to fold in twice and stop stitch or you use hemming gum and hold it down okay so what i have here is about 19 inches okay so uh i'm just going to go with the flow i'm going to use it all so what i did i just went and uh, i iron it i made it bold as you can see there's no need to start cutting it off i just fold it but i make sure it's exactly 16.5 inches length that i wanted okay so that is what i have here so now we are going to start by making the plates so to create the plates the, this is what you're going to do we're going to fold your pieces okay what will happen is that we are going to keep folding and iron folding and iron folding and iron but before you start folding make sure you arrange your piece your fabric proper you arrange it to be equal okay so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to keep folding and iron folding and iron okay just like this you fold and iron you fold and iron but if you don't like to have a big pleat okay so just uh be folding it with one one inch okay mark one inch and fold mark one inch and fold but this is my first try i just want to try this method and see if it works though that is what i did so i fold and fold and then i realized i cannot fold again so that is where i stopped folding okay so that is how i create my pleats so somehow it was the easiest place that i have ever done okay so yes it was the easiest one so when i i finished with it it was not really uh, corresponding to how i want it to be so i went in again to start it or uh, just using placing uh, like one inch I mean, 1.5 inch above each other just like the way you see me doing okay 
I place it and iron, place it and iron until I got to the right foot amount that I wanted, okay? So this is exactly how I, the, the circumference I want for my, this is like a half of my waist circumference. That is what you're going to do, okay? So, and then I went ahead to stop stitch it so that that plate will remain in one place, even though if I just, uh, whatever thing I do, it will not scatter. And then you're going to fold in the side, okay? Fold in the side twice and then you stop stitch, okay? Fold in the side twice and then you stop stitch. So that is it for the pleats. And um, this is how it is. I have went ahead to stop stitch the pleats and now we are going to start um, working on the skirt now. So our pleats is ready. So the main point now is to get our skirt part ready before we fix this pleat on it okay so what i'm doing right here i got my my front pattern okay my front five pieces the right side facing me up okay the right side is facing me up so then i got my back pattern the right side facing the front piece okay so you can to get the right side facing the right side okay so now this is my line uh, lining is facing me up and then my main fabric is facing down okay so here i'm going to pick my lining okay so you see this part where i joined together okay this part where i joined my lining and my main piece from the hemming part okay you are going to get that part that is why i zoom in so that you understand okay you're going to get the right the the joining part make sure it's the right side facing each other okay and then we're going to pin like that I'm going to pin only the main fabric to the main fabric because we are making invisible stitching okay now that I'm done pinning my main fabric now so the next thing that we're going to pin the lining okay please pay close attention on this part because this was a little bit tricky okay pay close attention here my major concern part was the the half part okay you know this shorter part from this side I'm working on that was my major concern i was a little bit confused but i got it right from here so please watch carefully so that you will not get confused of, on what i did okay right now i'm pinning the main fabric to the main fabric okay i haven't touched the lining yet the lining is still facing me okay and i'm going to stop it at the point where the short part stop okay at this point that i'm touching okay where i'm just pinning now this is where i'm going to stop my uh pinning and that is where my stitching is going to stop okay so now that i'm done from this part i have pinned my line my fabric to my fabric now so it's time to pin the, the lining to the lining part okay so watch carefully to see how i'm going to turn this part okay all right So I'm going to turn it like this, okay, make sure I will start pinning, continue the pin from the, from my lining. So now I'm pinning my lining, okay, I have, so now it's my lining that I'm pinning now. So this is the long, the long part, okay, so I have done pin this side, so it's time now to work on the shorter part, okay, so this is how it's looking like, okay, so now this is my main fabric. I'm going to pick my lining and my my front lining and my back lining. That is what I'm doing right now, okay? So you can So I'm picking up my front lining and the back lining, okay? So and I'm I'm going to start the pin from from started from the waistline, then I will stop where the stitching stop, okay? Please watch carefully, okay? If you get confused Rewatch it again. If if the video plays so fast, you can change it and play it in a normal playback speed. Okay, so that you understand exactly what I'm doing here. Alright, so I'm going to pin and then I stop there. So I have done pin my lining and my main fabric together. So this is how it is. Let me turn it to the right side so you can see it. So this is how it's looking like. Okay, this is how it's looking like, and then. See the shorter part I was talking about? I'm going to stitch it and stop there. And this is the lining part. I'm going to stitch it and stop this way, okay? 
so this part that you see me touching right here the, this this part here i'm going to leave that part open okay i'm going to leave it open i will just stitch here so it's going to be an invisible stitching okay so this part is going to remain open and it's going to stop at this point where the i i stop my pins okay please i hope you're under you're getting my explanation if you don't understand it please rewatch it again okay rewatch it again so right now we'll go to the sewing machine so we join this together so i'm going to start my joining okay the joining is going to start from between where the the hemming line is okay where i join the lining to the main fabric together on the hemming part so that is where i'm starting my joining okay so whatever excess that remain is going to remain towards the waist side okay so that is what i'm doing here and i'm stitching it with uh, with one inch allowance the one inch allowance that i kept while i was drafting the pattern okay that is where what i'm using now to stitch in my my skirt okay so now that i'm done joining the long part now i'm working on the shorter part now okay and i'm starting my stitching from the waistline the shorter part you're going to start your stitching from the waistline not the uh where the the pin stop okay so i'm going to repeat the same process on the lining Whatever thing you do to the main fabric, you're going to do the same thing to the lining. I hope you get me. I hope you understand my explanation. If you do, leave your comment below. Let me know what you, what you think. Let me know your experience with creating this dress if you, if you ever get the chance to make it, okay? So now that I'm done stitch, uh, stitching my, my pieces together, so now I'm going to turn it to the right side so that you can see the outcome okay so like i say this part here i did not touch this part because i i tried to do i tried to stitch it but i figured out that it's going to look funny so what i'm going to do i will just use hemming gum and hold that part down okay so let me turn it to the right side so that you can see how it is so as you can see this is how it's looking like so this part now i will use hemming gum i will fold it in like this and then i will use hemming gum to hold this part down again okay. but if you want to stop stitch you can stop stitch but i'm using hemming gum on it so right now we're going to get my the inner skirt okay that's the blue one now so that we can start by pinning it to the front pattern this is the front pattern okay you're not pinning it to the back pattern you're pinning it to the front pattern and you're joining it together both the lining and the main fabric together from the waist only on the waist okay i'm going to pin this like this and then i'll go back to my sewing machine to join it to the waistline okay i don't know if you understand this point this part like this if you follow the explanation you should be able to arrive on something like this okay so i have done join it together so this is how it's looking like and i join it to the the front part not the back part okay so this is how it's looking like so this is how it's looking like so the next thing now i'm going to get my bodies okay so that we can start join these bodies together so if you're watching to this very moment if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up okay so this is my upper bodies and um like i said well on my pattern drafting tutorial i forgot to add my sewing allowance while i was drafting the pattern i thought i add so when i was when i finished joining my pieces i realized that my zip allowance was not there so i just have to use a uh, lacing or to use it for the back okay please remember to add your joining allowance so that you can be able to have your zip on it so right now i'm going to get my bodies place it on top of my skirt like this okay the right side facing the right side and find the midpoint of your your half bodies and also the midpoint of your skirt okay place it the right side facing the right side 
So this point here is my midpoint of this, uh, my skirt and my body. So that is why I'm going to start by pinning from this point, okay? So I'm going to pin the both side, okay? I'm going to start pinning from the middle point to where it stops, okay? So I have done pin this part. I have done pin my half body to my skirt. So it's time to go and stitch it with 0 0.5 inch allowance. So I have done join this together and um, yeah. So we are coming to the end of this tutorial. So what I'm going to do now, the next thing now I'm going to uh, turn my skirt to the wrong side, okay? Just watch carefully and see, I'm going to turn it to the wrong side. So right now, the right side facing the right side of my skirt so that I can join the back, okay? I'm going to arrange it like so, so that I can join the back together. You know, all this why I haven't joined the back together to create the space for my zip, okay? So I'm going to first of all pin it first before I will join it. Because the material is a little bit slippery. So it's good, it's best to pin this down so that it will not um, affect my, my stitching. So now that I'm done uh, with the pin, I'm going to start joining this with one inch. Remember my zip allowance is one inch allowance, okay? It's one inch, so I'm going to start by joining. I'm going to make a, a loose stitch, rather I'm not stop stitching from the starting because I'm going to take it off anyway when I'm going to join my, my zip, okay? So, and I'm going to back stitch here because that is where my zip is going to stop. And then I'm going to continue all the way down okay i'm continuing all the way down because um there is no slit on the skirt there is no slit at the back okay just all the way down so yeah i have done that now so the next thing i will go back to my my weaving machine with all the rough edges and also i will face my zip to my dress and uh, that will be it for this tutorial okay if you ever get the chance to make yours, please let me know what was the challenge. How was it easy for you to recreate it, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're yet to do so. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching this video. And uh, help me share this video also, okay? Have a lovely day. Have a wonderful evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you're watching this from, okay? Bye. See you on my next swing tutorial.